Hello everyone. Today, let's explain how to draw pattern and the use of corresponding tools. First, let's import a sketch. Click the file to import. Import the sketch. We can left click. Drag control points to zoom in, making it convenient for us to depict on it. In the 3D viewport window, you can also drag the sketch to place it in a suitable position. Next, let's choose the pen tool. You can directly click it in the tool window, or you can quickly select it using the shortcut key D. Use the scroll wheel to zoom in for drawing on the sketch. Just left click at the starting point, then left click at the end point. This will draw a desired straight line. Next is curve. First, click on another endpoint. Hold down the left mouse button and drag. Drag to create the desired curvature and get the desired curve. To end the curve, continue drawing a straight line. Simply click once at the endpoint of the curve. Next is a vertical line. Hold down Shift. This will display an angled guide line with snapping effect. Then left click to draw the line. The same applies to the next two lines. If you accidentally place the endpoint incorrectly, simply press the delete key to remove the point. Next, repeat some of the previous actions. You can now quickly draw the front piece of the sketch. After finishing all the drawings, the final endpoint simply overlap the initial starting point, and the pattern will be automatically generated. Similarly, the corresponding pattern will also appear in the 3D viewport. We can click on the Select tool to move and drag it. Place it in the appropriate position. Next, let's quickly draw the back of the sketch. The operation method is the same as before. During the drawing process, we can adjust the view size at any time using the scroll wheel. To make drawing easier, this way the back of the garment is also drawn. Isn't it very quick and convenient? We can also use the pen tool to draw lines of a fixed length. First, left click on a starting point, then right click at the position where you want to draw the line segment, and input the length in the pop up window. We can also use the pen tool. Directly draw the desired pattern on the avatar's body in the 3D window. This method is suitable for more fitted clothing. Just use the pen tool. Left click on the avatar's body. Then overlap it with the starting point. And press the Enter key to generate the pattern. Then, combine it with the Edit Pattern tools we'll talk about next to make adjustments on this account to achieve the desired shape. Next, let's use the edit pattern tools and other corresponding editing tools to quickly draw a simple t-shirt. First, click on the rectangle tool in the toolbar to draw a basic rectangle. You can also quickly select it using the S shortcut key. Hold down the left mouse button and on the 2D view of the avatar silhouette, drag out a rectangle that fits the avatar's body because symmetry can be applied. After drawing the pattern, we only need to draw half of the pattern. This way, we have a rectangle. We can click the cloth translucent on the left to make the drawn pattern transparent. This helps observe the proportion between the avatar and the pattern. If you want to get a rectangle of fixed length, simply left click somewhere in the empty space. Then, in the pop up window, input the desired length. Next, let's add some points. Click on the edit pattern tool in the toolbar. The shortcut key is Z. Then, click on the line segment where you want to add points. Highlight it. Right-click and choose Add Point Segment. You'll notice that the pop-up window has two sets of colored text. Yellow font represents the length, corresponding to the yellow line segment's length or proportion. Similarly for blue, you can input the desired length to split the line at a fixed length. 
Alternatively, input a desired proportion for this operation. Next is the operation to split line evenly. Simply check the uniform split option, then input the number of segments you desire. You can also directly select the add point tool in the toolbar to split line. Select the line segment where you want to add points. Left click on it, then right click on the line segment in the pop-up window. Process is the same as with the edit pattern tool split line. Next, let's continue drawing. Find a suitable location to add a point to determine the depth of the collar and the width of the sleeves. Select the Edit Pattern tool to make adjustments. Simply click on the point you want to change, then drag to change the shape of the pattern. Holding down Shift will adjust the shape at fixed angles. Let's adjust this endpoint to find the appropriate collar width. Then adjust the other endpoint to find the position of the shoulder peak. Next, in the toolbar, select the edit curvature to adjust the neckline and cuffs. The shortcut key is C. Left click on the segment you want to adjust. Hold and drag to create the desired arc. You can also use the edit pattern tool to fine tune the arc. Just drag the control handles. If you want the t-shirt to be more fitted, you can also use the edit curvature to adjust the side. By pulling down the menu of edit curvature, you'll find the edit curve point tool. Use it to add curve points. This allows for more precise adjustments to the arc to achieve any shape you desire. The shortcut key is V. This way, we've completed half of the front of the garment. Click the Edit Pattern tool. Click the segment you want to mirror. Right-click and choose Symmetry Pattern with Edge. This will mirror the drawn pattern. You'll notice that the previous line segment has turned into an orange dashed line. This is the symmetry axis. We only need to adjust one side shape and the other side will adjust synchronously. Now, the back is easier to work with. Click the Selection and Move tool. The shortcut key is Q. Right-click on the drawn front pattern. Choose Copy and Paste to create a new pattern. Now, just use the Edit Curvature and Edit Pattern tools to adjust. This will give us the desired back pattern. And this is how we create this simple t-shirt. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you in next video. Goodbye.